Wow. The apocalypse really did a number on this place. No Wi-Fi. Nah, oh no. Like this. Seriously? How can I help you folks? How do you feel about getting uh -huh. two exceptionally resourceful members? Two exceptionally resourceful members. What makes you resourceful? We are professional scavengers. Every animal alive is a professional scavenger these days. Yeah, right. Uh, but we're clean, efficient, and fast. But we're clean, efficient, and fast. Clean? Yeah, uh, very clean. What does that even mean? Uh, <laughs> we never damage the goods. We never damage the goods? Uh-huh. So you two would like to join. Hank, you're fucking this up. Shut up. Look, we know it's tremendously hard to join, but just give us all your tests, and we're going to do everything in our... Just sign here. To start the tests? You know what? Fuck the regular tests. We're above that. We're not so <laughs> sheets that blindly follow the herd. Oh. We need a... Hank, for fuck's sake. You were doing this shit on purpose the whole time? Look, I don't know what you've heard exactly. Ha, but just sign here, and you're in. Bring us the loot, and we will let you stay for a while. That's the whole deal. Wow, really? This is fresh. Well, great. Ah, what a twist. Oh, and I'm really sorry about the sheep thing. Uh, Hank is a... I truly don't care. Can we get back to business? You know, we heard it's virtually impossible to become a member. Right. Seems like some of our members are spreading rumors that it's difficult to join. I assume they're just trying to keep the competition low. But it's starting to hurt business. What competition? I'll explain once you join. Sign here. Will do. There. Congratulations. You are now members of the guild. Oh no, what? we told this oh, guy that we wouldn't become no. members. Not on my watch. Am I hearing this right? Sub roomies? <laughs> Harry, don't you even dare let these motherfuckers join. Is that a threat? No, I'm just saying. Sounds to me like you're threatening me. But they're racist. They call us beef. Is that <laughs> right now? Uh. They were robbing Hank's apartment. Well, they were robbing Hank's apartment. That was after and because of your racial... <laughs> Maybe, but you were also robbing me before that. Because you beat up and robbed our parent friend, Carl, before that. Uh... He didn't even know what was going on. He didn't even know what was going on. He was drunk out of his mind. No, we saw it. The dog injured zombie Carl's wing. Because I thought he was a zombie. Why would you think that? Because he looks like... <laughs> Wait, you just called him a zombie yourself. Wait, you just called him a zombie yourself. It's just a nickname. Carl is a good animal. And you had it coming for you for what you did to him. Look, don't <laughs> this guy's just to listening to the whole thing. Check out my buddy Larry. They did this to him. Uh, who can love me like this? Who can love me like this? No. I punched him in only one eye. I don't know who did the other. <laughs> but your buddy obviously has a way to get animals to beat him up. And I actually thing, don't know who punched him in the other eye. These sickos are locking small animals up in closets. You obviously don't understand the context. Zombie Carl was going to hurt himself. He was very drunk. There! He just called him a zombie again. <laughs> now we're the crazy ones? Now we're the crazy ones? Look, look. You all seem like really hard <laughs> But I'm just a receptionist here, so I'm not going to play the mediator. You know the rules, what so you better learn item? to get along. What I don't rules? trust it. If you harm a member, you get expelled from the guild. Good rules. I'm loving these rules. <laughs> now, if you guys want to stay here, let me see what kind of loot you have. Here you go. Alrighty, so let's do all the books. We don't really care about most of the books. Uh, this one we might want to keep because the guild value isn't that great. Uh, this one we'll want to trade. That's only 10? Wow, that really didn't seem to cash in a whole lot. This one we'll definitely want to trade. Trade that book. Uh, the, let's see, these are probably better kept to trade to other people. I'll probably trade the history of medicine out, though. Uh, boom, boom, boom. 
Huh. I don't remember these things being uh, like one for one the same value. That's really strange. Nevertheless, we'll probably trade out the liqueur and we'll hang on to... Um, let's hang on to the first aid kits. Uh, probably want to just get rid of the carrots. They're probably not adding a whole lot of value. Uh, box of nails, we'll get rid of that. Carrots, yeah, get rid of those. Get rid of... We'll hang on to the rest of these, because these have good value with other people. Uh, we'll get rid of the cans of tuna and the tampons. So we'll just keep a lot of the high valuable things for right now. Um, how does it, how do I, uh, how do I trade this? Do I hit enter? Do I do everything? Wait, I have to do all of my items? I have to do my entire inventory. I didn't, I thought I could like pick and choose. Well, that's a little weird. That is going to be this amount of guild points. Wow, good hmm. voice acting. That seems solid, right? <laughs> solid? How long will they get? They are here for the first time, so they'll get three days. And don't listen to them. This is really good first-time loot, actually. Check out our loot. Hmm. According to this list, you have earned 9,140 guild points. Ah. Are you serious? What Dicks. the fuck did they bring? Uh, the Ten Commandments? The Ten Commandments? We wouldn't mind if God gave his two cents for how to run this place. I know. Animals are the worst. Uh, Tell me about it. Uh, Working as furniture movers before the apocalypse has its advantage. <laughs> oh, just choke me with a carrot. Now about the competition I was mentioning earlier. We have a trading connection with the government at the Zombie Free Islands. So we made a motivational program. The scavenging team with the most points will get a ticket to go there. Vacation on Zombie Free Islands? Nice. Not a vacation. It's a permanent stay. The most important people were transported to the islands first. But now as they are expanding, they are letting others join as well. You're shitting me. The most important people? Scientists, politicians, people from all important professions. Drug dealers. Celebrities too, of course. Oh, you're saying that we can be chilling on the beach with... Uh, wait, all of these people exist in this world? Yeah, that's so weird. Uh, what was I going to say? I feel like there might have been a couple different dialogue branches there where they said that that was really good first time loot. That might have been the game. I wouldn't be surprised if there were a couple different lines there recorded uh, for how well the player was doing. So that'd be a good way to kind of check in like, hey, I'm doing pretty good at this game or hey, I need to read the wiki. Um, regardless, I feel like I need to read the wiki. Anyway, uh, we're going to go with Jen Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence? Sure. Holy fucking shit. Are you hearing this, Larry? <laughs> That's how I'd feel, too. Good luck too. getting there with your points. <laughs> I'm actually more interested in the scientists and engineers. Yeah, than right, I druggie. There. Name one. Um, Elon Musk. Wow, good one. Name another. <laughs> We have to go with uh, Art Vandalay. Art Vandalay. Oh, for the love of... That's George's fake character on Seinfeld. <laughs> what? No, it's not. Yeah, it's George's thing. Are you sure? Alert! Alert! I'm going to need a little help. What is going on? There are two weirdos approaching. Huh? Oh, shit. Samson's not here. Okay, here's your room key. I've got to go handle this. Oh, wow. Uh, wait a second. Uh, did you just say weirdo? Is yes. weirdo catching on? Like, as in weird animals? No, it's what zombies are called nowadays. Nice. Maybe living under a rock. They made fetch happen. I told you the name would stick. There is no fucking way. We started using it this morning. You know how it is. Information travels at light speed in the modern world. What like some modern Gen world? Z crap. Uh... We don't even have pigeon mail anymore. We don't even have pigeon mail anymore. You know, this is a great opportunity for pigeons to get back into the business. Fair. Okay, let's go check out the room. I don't think you're appreciating the peculiarity of the situation here. All right, come on. 
Let's check out our new crib. We finna gonna make weirdo happen, yo. Oh, what a wreck. Weird flex. I'm loving it. They expect us to sleep in those beds? Like, just look at them. Uh, or they need to bribe us with a zombie-free island and celebrities on the beach? The bed Not has like a literal a trash bag anyhow. on it. We're lucky we even I actually today. rather like the art in this That's game. That's where you're wrong. Am I? What if we run into another bear zombie while we're not in the van? Or even worse, a, a rhino! Not even a van's gonna help us then. We'll handle it somehow. Boy, calling somebody yeah, a so bear in this the game. Bulls. They're mm. huge! And I can only guess who our other competition is. It doesn't matter. They're furniture movers, and I'm a millionaire salesman. Who do you think's gonna win this race? Uh... <laughs> Leporidae. Wow. This, uh, fake-ass, um, drug dealer scientist dude sure does, uh, know the terminology for, like, what a rabbit is. We'll go with, uh, the furniture movers. Obviously the furniture movers. Wrong. The real power lies in the ability to get animals to do what you want. And we are about to harness that power. Really? Well, in my case, I'll just relearn it. Because we've been having a You'll pretty rough it. ass time doing reading it. Reading your notebook the whole day, and I don't think it helped all that much. What are you talking about? Of course it helped. Let's go through the lessons again before we call it a day. Nah, I'm too tired. Hey, come on, just a quick glance at him. All right. This is the last part of the tutorial, I think, and I know what I need to do. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, this is what it's like when Bird and Keith become roommates. I don't think Lady Bird would really appreciate if Bird, if, if Keith moved in here and we kicked her out and became roommates. Especially if it immediately devolved in this gross-ass situation here. <laughs> nah, I'm not in the mood for thinking too much. Nah, I'm not in the mood for thinking too much. Fine. Anyway, these were just some beginner principles. Once we get the more complex ones, that is where we're gonna see some mad power at play. I'm not so sure, dude. Animals are still the same, Larry. If I was able to sell them their own pants before, I could do it again. I guess I should give you some credit for making all that money selling garbage. Totally. Imagine how much loot we can get once we convince more animals like bulls to scavenge for us. Well, that would be nice. Larry, you'll see. We're gonna become freaking negotiation Jedis. We'll need I to become really actual freaking Jedis if we're gonna survive this insane world. Wait, but wouldn't we be more like Siths? I mean, we are getting animals to risk their lives for our gain. Oh, you have a problem with the dark side all of a sudden, my young Padawan? <laughs> I think you're confusing the lore a little bit. I think you're confusing the lore a little bit. But no, I dig the dark side. Okay, fine. Let's study this, but let's also learn from practice. And become freaking negotiation Siths! Hell yeah! Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, Sounds shit. about right. You know what horror I just realized? What? Uh... There won't be any new Star Wars movies. There won't be any new Star Wars movies. Oh, fucking cabbage. They just started making them again, too. <laughs> yeah, and they were pretty good. And in 3D. Wow, that's like an uh, age. Well, all right. Time for bed, I guess. Yeah, let's call it a day. Ah, this bed's a mess. Mine seems fine. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. When the power comes on, how many zombies Isn't are going to be in the room? in here? You want to switch? Why would you want to switch? Uh, because I don't care. Because I don't care. Hmm. All right. Gross. What is this? Oh, dude, your be your bed's all wet and, and sticky. What the fuck? Ha <laughs> ha, gotcha. You see what the power of persuasion does? That's not the power of persuasion. You just lied to me. <laughs> powers in lying. I want to switch. <laughs> no, you need to learn a lesson. Get up, Hank. No. You're unbelievable. All right, Larry. I'm gonna hit the hay. Go to hell. You have a nice night, too.
No. No. Really? Oh, I wasn't ready. I wasn't even close to ready. No. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I'll tell you one thing. We're not going back to that furry Shakespeare game. We're going to go tell you one right there. Anyway, uh, yeah, so part... Episode 2 has been announced for this thing. Episode 2 is on hiatus. Now, I don't know if you're, uh, you know, young or if you don't understand Latin or whatever, but uh, hiatus is a really fancy term for canceled. Uh, and we're never, ever going to see part two of this come out. But boy, it would have been great. The psychology of selling, predictably irrational. I I feel like the people that made Larry. this game probably did more research into hey, it than Larry. Hank did. You awake? What do you want? All right, I feel bad about this. Let's switch back to beds. Hmm. You feel bad? That does not sound right. <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy. We'll go with, uh... Nah, it was a real jerk move. Nah, it was a real jerk move. No, I'm not falling for this. Falling for what? Uh... <laughs> yeah, you've been in this bed already. How can I trick you? You've been in this bed already? How can I trick you? Why do you want to do this? Come on, Larry. Uh... We need to trust each other tomorrow in dangerous situations. I hope he crapped in the bed. We need to trust each other tomorrow in dangerous situations. We can't lose trust over a stupid joke. Yeah, I guess you're right. Fine, let's do it. Ah, oh, crap. You made this one wet as well. I was just wet from the other bed. <laughs> well, at least it's not as bad as the other one. Wait. Ouch! What the fuck is that? It's a spring. What? A spring. What kind of a spring is this? <laughs> this thing will skin me alive if I turn around in my sleep. Dad, it will. The thing popped straight into my back. <laughs> I bled all over the bed. Oh. This wet shit is your blood? Oh, for fuck's sake, That's Hank. That's disgusting. Practicing trust? Haha, <laughs> I got you again. I got an achievement for that one. Uh, fool me twice. No! Oh, it was so... It was so... So short-lived. Oh, man. Alright. I'm looking at the store page for, uh, Scheming Through the Zombie, zombie Apocalypse Part 2. Caged. It is, uh... Well, let me see. Let me look up this information, I guess. Ah... <sighs> It's like an hour, at most, of content. But what a beautiful hour. What a great hour it was. Um, release date. Uh, okay. Cage. Give me the zombie apocalypse. Cage release date. Uh, alright, so they have missed their release date twice. And, uh, oh, it doesn't look like, uh, episode one, uh, did it well enough financially that they're able to, like, really make this happen. That's, that sucks. Um, let's just, uh, keep reading on about it. Uh, wait till we're done with the new game. No! No! They're making a, uh... A managing sim for an arena fighter game. Instead of, uh, working on part two. Because they don't think it's gonna make enough, uh, money. Well, uh, I was right. We're never gonna see episode two of this. What a cliffhanger. What are we ever gonna do? Well, uh, that was fun. Anyway, thanks all for watching.